Hello friends, so welcome again to another session on lines and triangles and having seen different types of angles and some relations with angles like linear pair and vertically opposite angles. Now it's the time to go further deep into it and understand some more properties related to lines and angles. Now in this case we are going to study angles made by a transversal with two lines. Okay, that means first of all we need to understand what is a transversal and what are the properties related to it so let's say there are two lines a and b on the same plane guys again please understand we are talking about two lines in the same plane okay so there could be lines in two different planes as well but we are not going to deal with them we are going to deal with only the case where the two lines are on the same plane or they are also called coplanar lines lines lying on the same plane are called coplanar lines so for example when you take your notebook and uh, draw any line on any of these pages and draw another line in the same page, uh, same page you will get two coplanar lines now obviously there is no limit to draw number of lines on a piece of paper so all of them are coplanar lines now we have two coplanar lines here ab and cd okay and there is another line which intersects the two given lines ab and cd at point p and q Okay, so this line LM, if you see, is intersecting the two given lines in the same plane. Now, this line LM is called the transversal. Transversal. So, it is starting from one end and then cutting across both the lines. Okay, so transversal. Now, attached with transversal or associated with transversal, there are few angles. And today, in this session, we are going to just define them. And in the next session, we'll understand the properties of those angles. They are, you know, uh, in some cases, for example, when AB is parallel to CD. So when AB becomes parallel to CD, then all these angles start behaving in a particular way. And we'll understand that. Okay. So before that, let's first understand. So you, you understood transversal, right? So LM is transversal to, is a transversal transversal to a b and c d you understood this now what are corresponding angles so here corresponding angles are nothing but angles on the same side of the two lines okay made by the transversal what am i saying angles made by the two lines or angles made by the transversal on the same side for example what all here are corresponding angles so angle 1 and angle 5 okay angle 1 and angle 5 this one and this one why because they are on the same side of both the you know on the left hand side if you let's say you know uh, or the upper side of both the lines and on the same side of the transversal isn't it similarly you can say angle 4 and angle 8 are a pair of corresponding sides again on the downside downward side of both the lines on and on the right side of the transversal again you know now angle 2 and angle 6 are another pair and angle 3 and angle 7 so these all are pairs of corresponding angles okay so there are four pairs of corresponding angles basically now what are alternate interior angles so in the alternate interior angles are these so you have to just look at angles between the two lines now and on the opposite side of the triangles for example see angle 3 and angle 5 okay so they are on the opposite side of the transversal and um, they are made between the two lines okay angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles and similarly angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles okay so on the opposite sides of the transversal such that um, the two lines form one of the arms of these angles okay so if you see ab is forming one arm of four and cd is forming one arm, one arm of six and uh, pq is the transversal actually is a common arm yep so this is how you can identify now what are alternate exterior angles similarly to similar to interior we can have alternate in exterior so angle one and angle seven are a pair of alternate exterior angles 
similarly angle 2 and angle 8 are parallel oh, sorry a pair of uh, alternate exterior angles okay and what are consecutive interior angles now consecutive interior angles are again two angles between the two lines and the same side of the transversal okay so hence angle 3 and angle 6 are consecutive interior angles and similarly angle 4 and angle 5 are also corresponding sorry consecutive interior angles okay so now you understand if there are two lines a b and c d lm is the transversal angle 1 angle 5 are corresponding 2 and 6 are corresponding 3 and 7 are corresponding 4 and 8 are corresponding similarly alternate uh, alternate interior angles are this angle and this angle similarly alternate interior angles are this angle and this angle similarly um, uh, alternate exterior angles are 1 and 7 and 8 and 2 correct and consecutive interior angles are um, let's say 4 and 5 together and 3 and 6 together right these are corresponding sorry consecutive interior angles so uh, with this knowledge of you know different angles associated with two copolar lines and a tra uh, transversal we will be now moving towards understanding theorems and properties related to this particular construct okay see you in the next session